Welcome everyone to Monday meeting. I hope you are having a good Monday uh, and that this is a good start for the week uh, for those who are uh, in the morning and uh, you know a little good thing in the middle of the day for those who are approaching the, the evening. So um, let's see, do we have action items? We don't have action items because I think that last time we got them all done, you know, while we were in the meeting. So I think that we can go over to Kadir and the Sumo development updates, Kadir. Yeah. Um, interesting stuff is going on. Uh, so as a reminder, again, we are working on uh, several things at the same time in parallel. So progress on each individual item might be a little bit slower than usual because it's only one person working on it. Um, that's the disclaimer. But still, a lot of stuff is going on because it's happening in parallel. Um, so Ricky already showed you off uh, what happened in uh, the current sprint, especially in the localization area. We also finished off uh, the uh, search improvements for localizations, uh, but there was a follow-up to that, so we didn't get to actually test it yet. Uh, we're still looking into the uh, potential improvements there, and uh, hopefully I'll be, able to, I'll be able to report on that next week. Uh, I think we made some really great improvements and hopefully it will also be reflected in the CTR. Um, that's until next week. Uh, but as far as we can tell, that goal is finished, which is always great, finishing goals in the middle of the uh, quarter. Then um, you can now sign in using Persona uh, on stage. Whoa. So if you want to give it a try, uh, okay. just go on Alizam alizam.mozilla.support.alizam.org um, log out if you are logged in and you will see the persona login uh, dialog and please use your own email address for now so we will um, uh, iron out all the UX um, issues potential UX issues that come with um, using a different login method for now you have to be careful to use your email address that, that you use on um, uh, Sumo so far, otherwise you will create a new account and it, they won't be correlated, they won't be uh, merged. Um, when we implement this on stage, on, on, on production, and when this is actually rolled out, we will make sure that uh, things like, th like that can't just happen. Uh, but for now, if you want to give it a try, you can give it a try, you can log in, you can use it, it's really awesome. Um, no passwords. Um, especially if you are a Gmail user, when you create a new account, you don't even have to, like, there is no password, not even the first time. You come to uh, Sumo, and one third of our users are uh, Gmail users. So they come to Sumo, they click on oh, uh, sign in, third. and they are signed in, like, no registration, uh, except we still ask them for a username because we need that. But no passwords, no email address, uh, overhead. So no going to the email address and clicking on uh, the verification part. So that's really amazing and um, exciting. Lots of stuff happening in um, Persona world, by the way, for anyone who's interested. They're making really great progress. And the last part is the uh, badges. So that's coming off a little bit slower because um, uh, it's a lot more work than anticipated and we have less time for it than anticipated. So this will actually continue uh, in the next sprint. Uh, so we won't be finished with it in this sprint. We will continue with it in the sprint that is starting tomorrow. And speaking about that, uh, you can see what's going on in that sprint um, on the either path, uh, um, just, just a few, uh, few lines below. Uh, it's the 17th sprint that is starting tomorrow. And again, we are, we are going to work on uh, our roadmap items. So more stuff for localizers, uh, especially the localized KPI dashboards and uh, localized forum stats, which is really something I've been looking forward to for quite some time. So that's great to see. Um, then we will, uh, like I said, work on open badges, uh, continue the implementation of the infrastructure part and the part that is landing on Sumo uh, to be able to issue badges. And uh, on the persona uh, side, we're going to uh, go mobile. Uh, so uh, a significant portion of our users are now on mobile and they should be able to uh, log in using Persona as well. And we are also going to cover the uh, Get Involved pages that have a special workflow for people 
who want to sign up as contributors. So we're going to cover all of all our bases uh, for signups and registrations. Cool. Um, yeah, that's the stuff that's on the roadmap and uh, stuff that we were working on in the next sprint. So is Persona ready in two sprints from now for everything? Uh, hopefully, yes, uh, but we're still working on the UX part, and that depends also on the uh, Persona team and on our Persona UX designer who we are working with together. So hopefully we'll have more time from them and be able to move fast on this one. If you want to see what questions are still open, you can follow the um, URL from, from the current sprint. Uh, it's, it, there is a link to the Etherpad uh, where we have current open uh, questions and answers to them. That sounds really good. Oh, there's a lot of things uh, getting done, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how you make it to get so many things done in one week uh, because it's a huge update this week. We have an amazing development team, so yeah, thanks to them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're yeah, doing great it's, stuff. It's an amazing team. That's uh, very cool. Yeah. Well, let me let me see. Okay, I think that's it. Do you have anything for uh, UX this week? No, I actually don't have a UX update this week. Hopefully more on that front uh, next week, but okay. this week there's not, okay. no update. Okay, perfect. So let me see uh, now. Do you have any questions? Otherwise, we will go to the round table. When questions, one, two, three. Okay, round table. Is Patrick somewhere? I think Patrick is not there today. Patrick um, Toronto. Yeah, okay, Patrick is in Toronto. So just uh, to give you a, a heads up for everyone in our community, um, we are actually hiring a support uh, representative. Uh, that would be uh, for, you know, in, on Patrick's team. So if you're interested or if you know someone who could be interested, uh, there is a link on the Etherpad to the job description. You can go and look at it and let us know if you know someone or if you're interested uh, yourself. Just contact us or just, you know, follow the link and uh, you will get the information that you need there. And if you have any questions, uh, you can ask any of us. Um, so that's important to know. Um, round table. Um, Michael, do you want to take your items on the round table? Sure. Um, so just so uh, everybody knows, the Sumo staff is uh, meeting in person all week next week. So uh, a lot of us will be in a different time zone and we'll not be doing our regular things. So I'm wondering <clears throat> if we're having this meeting next Monday or not. I don't know if anyone's thought about it. Uh, no, I think we haven't thought about it right now. Um, I think it would be know. interesting to have everyone uh, on the on the same room. Uh, I, I just don't know uh, exactly how the calendar for that meeting is going to be. Um, but worst case, we can all just jump into video and say hello from the same room. <laughs> but I think we should figure it out, Michael. I think that's a very valid point, and we should uh, follow up so that you can put that on your notes. OK. Well, that means figuring it out like not today. It means well, figuring it yeah. out before the end of the day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. Does anyone have any strong preferences, or do you think that we should skip just next week and we will be back? I think we should cancel all our other meetings and just have this one. <laughs> I mean, it's no, cer seriously. certainly doable. It'll, it'll be six p.m. Uh, in exactly. in Paris. That's where we'll be. Um, uh, just have a quick one. Ten minute check in. I don't know. I don't know what our schedule is for the work week, so I don't know. Please. Same here. I don't, I don't know exactly how it's gonna if we're gonna have a... like it's dinner scheduled or something. Usually it's not quite then. It's usually later, no, right? It's a dinner scheduled for Monday night, but I know for everyone from the U.S. will probably be majorly. Yeah, I think a lot that... of people will be very tired. So I'm, I'd say that I we, yeah, right. let's cancel That's it for right. next week, and we will follow up with a lot of juicy leg. with a lot of juicy details the uh, Monday afterwards. We have nothing for Monday because everybody will be jet lagged, so we can yeah, also still, I mean, we have it for Thursday. Uh, 
right. Okay. So the answer is, let's skip it next week? Yes. Okay. So we will skip it. That answers the question, yeah. As much as we would love to do. Uh, <laughs> and then we can have the communications today. Okay. That would be great. Um, okay, well, the other one uh, that I had, this came up uh, Thursday in the platform meeting. Um, but So I'll, I'll have to post this in other places too, but just um, a reminder or a note that if you're filing, filing a bug on Sumo, especially uh, one way to think about it, if it's like a front-end bug, something to do with the way the website is displayed or operates, um, <clears throat> If you can, um, let us know if this is an issue with the desktop version of Sumo or the mobile version or both, um, or should or it should be you know if it's a like feature request that it should be for both or what. Um, and if you don't know, say I don't know. I only tested this on desktop or I only tested this on mobile. Um, this will help us think about both use cases when we're fixing the bug. So just keep that in mind when you are filing bugs. Yes. That is a great reminder, Michael. Thank you. And yeah, um, I, I know sometimes it's kind of uh, difficult when you're filing bugs, but uh, I think this is a, a very good reminder. We should uh, totally, a bit before we didn't have the mobile version, so I think that now it's, or, or you know, the, the version for Firefox or, uh, OS. So I think that things are getting a little complicated, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a great reminder. Yeah. Uh, Roland, you had something squeezed, you know, like you were the sandwich between Michael's remarks, so why don't you tell us? I'm not a sandwich, I'm a banana. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so yes, about 10 days ago we were the first manually issued Sumo open badge for the graduates of the Sumo Technical Writing Program, of which there are approximately five. Um, hats off to uh, Ken Saunders for working with Michael and the team and I myself and the team for getting the badge designing that badge and um, you first five people thank you and hopefully you'll like the badge and I'm going to send a survey out to the owners and this is as um, Kadir uh, mentioned we are having we're going to do a lot more open badges and we're going to award them automatically instead of these uh, technical writing badges which were manual but with so we're going to do manual badges, more manual badges in the future, but primarily automatically awarded badges. Um, so that's it. So if we can make send Ken a T-shirt or whatever, do we have a Friends of Sumo thingy? I can't remember. Yes, remember. of course. We have the contributor of the week, and I already put Ken for this week there. Uh, but you're going to have to nominate him formally at the end of the meeting. So get ready, Roland. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've got more news of great hiring. Exactly. Who wants, uh, I, I don't know, Matt, uh, Tyler, I know, uh, uh, Mike, you want to tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, so the user advocacy team is actually hiring a uh, research lead. So um, anybody who's interested in doing some hardcore investigation, um, some serious troubleshooting, if you have a PhD in Firefox Ease, we would love to hear from you. Um, so the work that we do focuses more on understanding the root cause and scoping the issue and, and less on end user support. Um, so if you are tenacious and uh, willing to get in and get your hands dirty, dig around in some uh, databases, please let us know. We'd love to hear from you. So it's, it's, it's basically a, a mix between Inspector Gadget and MacGyver, right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a really good summary. In fact, I'm going to update the job description to... Uh, <laughs> Firefox, Inspector MacGadget, and Data Science. Oh, MacGadget, that's Firefox. even better. <laughs> Okay, so everyone, if you think you are the right gadget for this position, you know, shoot Matt an email, or if you know someone who has a gadget <laughs> profile, um, this is the place to go. <laughs> great, great, I like that. So, um, any questions? Otherwise, we move to Firefox for desktop, and I think, Matt, that would be, again, you taking that. Yeah, so I'm just coming back from a, a, a week of uh, vacation, so uh, still catching up here, but we did do a chem spill on Friday to fix some top crashers and desktop, and it looks like things have, uh, have steadied out considerably. Um, Tyler, I don't know if you want to add anything to that. Yeah, um, 2301, we've uh, unthrottled that 100% so far, I believe. 
Um, so everyone should be getting that update. So you can probably expect a rise again in the um, uh, UX changes that we had with like the JavaScript options, stuff like that. Um, but 2301 should be much more stable. So at least users should be able to run Firefox, um, especially those with Radeon graphics cards who are experiencing crashes. Um, we also also fixed some issues with uh, WebRTC audio, I believe, but we didn't have very many users experiencing those bugs, so we probably won't notice that. But yeah, other than that, um, 23's main issues are just user confusion. <laughs> nah, no comment. Okay, that sounds like uh, yeah, we could we could solve that with uh, great documentation. Well, we are solving it through user education and startup experience, right? Exactly, now. user education. Yeah, but sounds like a. I was gonna ask. Like a case for you. Michael, sorry, sorry, I was going to ask Tyler about the tab, uh, the no tab, or that you have to have a tab thing now. Should we? That sounds like maybe something we need to document. Um, yeah, I would document it just to be safe. Um, the the hiding the tab option is the biggest um, complaint out of all those UI options. Right. Um, so I think everything else we can handle through the uh, support forum, but that one should be an article. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Great. Uh, so we, uh, since we have a solution, sorry, uh, Mike. I was going to say, Michael, let's keep an eye on the traffic to that article, and if it comes down to it, then maybe we can get a uh, snippet up as well to to get it in front of more people. Right. Oh, that, that's a very good idea. Yep. All right. Very cool. Great. Any any other uh, questions? Otherwise, it's Roland's time to talk about Firefox for Android, right? Yes. Um, Firefox 23 is looking good, right, Tyler? Other than Android 4.3 issues, and we hope to have a fix, and we hope to contact the users who are unhappy once we get that fix. Uh, no, no date yet. Um, but other than that, uh, the Firefox uh, Android product rolls along. Yeah, baby. That's great. That's great. I just, oh, I just and, uh, uh, go ahead. No, I just wanted to say uh, I use I use it on my phone, and I'm I'm a very happy user. So. I got asked if I wanted to rate it in, on, on the Google Play Store. And I said, like, yeah, I want to put some five stars because really it's a great product. And then I was going to the Google Play Store and it took forever. And then I had to accept the Google Play Stores. Uh, I don't know. It, was, it, it, it took forever, although I've been in that store like many times. So I don't know if it's just my problem or if other users might be experiencing the same problems when they want to give five stars to Firefox for Android. So was that last good. week, Rosanna? Yeah. Google Play was having a whole bunch of infrastructure issues last week, so it could have been related to that. Okay, so yeah, I, they have to... I was just because I was so eager to give it like five stars, and um, yeah, and Google Play wasn't very very helpful. Okay, so I, I'm glad to hear that our users can. Yeah, they're ag aggressively they're aggressively updating the Google Play Store continuously, so mm -hmm. we're going to continue to have glitches like this. Okay. I think until I just... it settles down again. I just want to say that the fact that I was going to give it five stars has nothing to do with the fact that I'm a Mozillian, but it's really a great product. <laughs> um, and to finish off my Firefox or Android update, and then I'll go into Thunderbird, and then Michelle can do her I.O. Firefox OS, because I'm sure you guys love hearing my voice. Um, we have Firefox 24 articles for Android and English to be finished this week. Uh, and Swarnova has signed up, so yay! So hopefully we will get them finished on time, and we'll follow the cycle that Michael's defined. Everything's cool. Any questions about Android before I do my Thunderbird thing? No, I think we're good, huh? Okay, so for Thunderbird, we have the 24 beta test week this week. Um, I put a link in there to um, Ludo Perlemann's head of QA's post. So there is a test week. Please test. Um, you can play at any skill level. We just want you to use the beta if that's if that's all you can have time for or skill for or energy for. But uh, that link um, on Tumblr uh, links to a whole bunch of Mozilla QA uh, test cases you can try. If you want to go to the next level. Further, higher level ups, you can uh, file bugs, et cetera, et cetera. It's all there. Um, if you know Ludwig Kerlman or Wayne Murray of Thunderbird QA, they're both quite approachable and quite willing to take questions. And of course, you can always email me or catch me in Pound Sumo. Done. 
Okay, great. Thanks. That sounds great. Um, any questions, go to Roland. Uh, and Roland, by the way, we do like your voice, and if you could speak a little longer, and we wouldn't even mind. It's kind of like Matt's voice. It's, I don't know, who's got the DJ voice here? <laughs> okay, maybe that's the that's that's for a show and tell uh, uh, session. <laughs> Someone has to, you know, grab no, we'll out. No, guys our voices. I'll, I'll pretend yeah. to be you. Do you think that'll work? No. I mean, it can be also. I don't know. Maybe Michelle. Maybe you have a DJ voice. I don't know. So it's just it's it's for you guys to figure out who can have, uh, you know, the the voice. Anyway, let's move on to Firefox OS. Michelle, are you there? Okay. Um, Michelle, the voice is going to start now. <laughs> the voice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have uh, updates in the Etherpad today. I'm sorry about that, but I do want to thank everyone for continuing their work, hard work on English Firefox articles. Uh, Created our tweak, I think, that was really good um, for features that we haven't documented yet. So I wanted to um, call it out. Thanks to reviewers for getting them edited and reviewed. Uh, and we also have uh, quite a few, a few questions coming in for English uh, that people I know have been answering. Um, Philip and Andrew and um, others on English, and then also quite a large number. Out on Mozilla Hispanic, discussion going there on Firefox OS. So, um, to all the contributors for uh, English, Polish, Finnish, uh, for Firefox OS. And um, I think we sold out all the CTE opens that were on eBay. That special orange exclusive, I think, sold out at 9 p.m. on Saturday. So, great. Yeah. Really great. I mean, it's, it's great news, but it's bad news for whoever wanted to get a device and couldn't, right? Is there any? Um, I don't know if it's bad news yet. I, I don't know if there's going to be more or not. So, so that's okay. an open question. But we'll stay tuned. But there's a lot of interest. Be, I'm, I'm not going to say it's bad news yet. Hopefully, there'll be more where that came from. <laughs> okay. And oh, Hermina, that's did you have any updates you want to give? I also wanted to say um, I'm really excited about the persona integration for Simo on mobile. I'm really glad to hear that on the roadmap. That's that's going to be huge for us. So, so thanks for your work on that, Simo Dev. Yep, that's great. Yeah, yeah, uh, mobile is huge because you won't have to sign up for new user ID, and it'll just be fast and quick. Yep. No that's, typing. That's, that's very cool. That's very cool. Well, that sounds great, Michelle. Thanks, thanks a lot for, for the updates. And um, if you can manage to, to you know, write a couple of notes of what you said on the Etherpad, just a couple of little things, that, that would be great. Also, if you want to nominate any of your amazing contributors to the Contributor of the Week, feel free to do so. I know. Um, I, well, I wanted to also, we did have um, the mobile meeting on Air Mozilla last week, mm -hmm. so if you want See who's on the team. I know you were there, Rosanna. Um, you can go to Air Mozilla and um, and look us up and watch our meeting from last week. Thanks to Beth Dad for organizing that. We're going to start just keep doing that once a month. Nice. That's yeah. very cool. Fantastic. Well, that's great to know that we're uh, we're on we're uh, broadcasting our work directly from our platform. That's very cool. Anyone, any questions otherwise? I will jump to Kadir's updates on metrics, which is the part where, you know, this is the part of the news when I when we ask about like the markets. Kadir, <laughs> can you tell us about the markets? Uh, yeah, and actually, as you can see, it almost looks like a stock exchange behind me. Uh, don't let, <laughs> let me, don't let you, yeah, don't be fooled by that, but. Um, no, so actually, uh, usually I say at this point uh, for the last few days, uh, for the last few weeks at least, I've been saying that, well, everything is flat. And now I wish I could say that. <laughs> um, there, there is a bit, there are actually two bits that, that are kind of unexplained. And one disadvantage of doing these meetings on Monday is that there is very, very little time to actually look into those things uh, beforehand. One advantage is that I can tell you about it and uh, maybe someone has an idea so I don't have to do all the work on that. Anyway, uh, here it goes. Um, 
uh, on the Twitter uh, contributor account, we have a dip, an unexplained dip. As far as I can tell, there is no technical issue uh, related to that. It's working quite fine. But we have fewer, uh, like we had a dip in, in contributors and Twitter contributors over the last week. It would be really great to figure out why that is. Maybe it's because school has started somewhere, or maybe there is a technical issue that we aren't aware of. Um, so if you have any idea, uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'll uh, work with Rosanna on that, uh, sorry, Madlena on that, figure out what's going on in the community. Um, okay. Sorry, if you know someone and or if you you know want to remember your good times on uh, Army of Awesome, just go back to it. <laughs> exactly, it's really uh, it's a very easy way to contribute, and uh, actually about 100, 120 people are doing it every day, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and then we have a dip in the last two days, actually, in the helpful votes, um, uh, several percentage points. That is quite unusual. Um, so I don't know yet where it's coming from. It might be uh, one of the recent releases um, or the point update that we made. Uh, I'm not sure if that is released already, but probably yes. Uh, it could be related to that. Uh, but it's too early to tell. Again, if you have an idea or a thought, let me know and we can investigate. Otherwise, I'll go to the usual suspects one possible yeah, source my... one possible source could be the um, fire there was a zillion changes for Firefox 23 and many of them still haven't been localized um, so it could be that yes I think that that's gonna be something affecting the the, the helpfulness um, in, yeah you know a couple of locales that's actually the one thing that I looked into, and, and English is affected as well. Yeah, okay. so uh, okay. the English KV is affected as well, and uh, it doesn't seem like it's uh, localization specific. Um, okay. But any I other ideas? Let me know, especially so stuff like that. Yeah. So if you have, if you know about something that it could be uh, that could be the source of this, would make my life easier. Okay. So everyone, get your um, inspector gadget. Uh, costume on and help Kadir here. So if anyone has an idea, just let us know. Uh, but yeah, we should we should we should try to find out what's going on. Any questions there? So otherwise, we will go to Michael. Um, Firefox twenty four updates. There's a link to an Etherpad with the updates. Uh, some people are working on them. There's still some to do. Um, Trying to get them done tomorrow. That's the big thing. OK, so everyone check that out. There's an Etherpad where you can find everything. And if you want to help, drop Michael a line or, or just get started. Put, put your name on the Etherpad uh, where there's someone isn't working on an article and go work on that article. That's great. And I, it's very cool because then people won't be working on two articles at the same time. That's very right. Cool. Fantastic. So um, I'm going to go to Elton N. Uh, I wanted to give you a heads up. I was in Copenhagen for the meetup of the um, Scandinavian locales. And we have some um, stronger locales. For instance, Finnish uh, has been doing a great job. But we are also struggling with a couple of uh, Nordic locales. What was very cool is that we could just go through the locales pages and through the metrics. Now we have like this history and we can see you know, what active locales is. Uh, it was very easy for the uh, locale members to get a picture of what was going on in their locale and to have ideas and you know, who to contact, where to get started. Um, so it was a very good, you know, practice. You know, we, we kind of tested the the new tools, and really, they're amazingly helpful. And it's very easy right now for everyone to get uh, an idea of what's going on in each locale. Um, so it's an invitation for everyone to um, to use those tools. Furthermore, we talked about, uh, you know, a couple of possibilities. Um, you know, maybe uh, translation. Uh, you know, memories. I was talking to Axel and uh, Jeff, who are working on that. Um, so that's something that we will be, um, you know, evaluating uh, because it seems to be that with our current wiki editor, there could be some possibilities. So I will uh, update you on that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's uh, what was going on 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 Ultimate. Uh, we, we're still a little bit behind uh, uh, in some locales with the updates of Firefox 23. So 
if you can give a hand, if you can go and, you know, just, you know, help us a little bit more with those updates, that, that would be great so that we can go back to our usual uh, coverage uh, because we're a little bit behind. I know there were tons of updates and uh, some locales, especially the ones that were, you know, very busy with the launches, were working a lot on, on the Firefox uh, OS articles, but uh, let's give our top 20 articles a little bit of love and keep everything, everyone happy. So that's it from um, localization. Uh, from the support forum, Madlina isn't here and she didn't leave any notes, but I think from, you know, from the KPIs and from what we're seeing, it seems to be that things are going well and, you know, everyone's uh, answering questions and everything's going uh, good there. So let's keep up the good work. Um, yeah, if you don't have any questions, we would just jump to the uh, contributors of the week, right? And I think uh, Roland should uh, get started with that. I think you are muted, Roland. Oh, just kidding. Uh, uh, Ken Saunders, who I've known since the Thunderbird days, uh, he worked on Spread Thunderbird, um, did a nice, awesome design job for us on the Th Thunderbird Technical Writing Program badge. And he put up with our the betaness of the whole thing, the fact that I haven't really worked as a designer on, on these kind of visual feedback processes before really and he came up with a good job and he worked with uh, and he continues to work with us he's not a this is not his first time like I said spread Thunderbird he also does I believe Facebook and other sumo and other many other Mozilla things so big shout out to Ken and lots of thank yous and love done <laughs> Uh, yes, fantastic. Ken, thanks a lot. I think the, the badges uh, look amazing. I, I was part of the design process, you know, just very perfectly, but uh, I did see um, a couple of your designs and I think that you did a great job. You put a lot of effort into it. You presented a lot of um, different uh, uh, alternatives. So big, big thanks, Ken. Uh, as I said, um, I think that these badges are from the community for the community. Um, and and I really, I really love to see that spirit um, in Sumo. So thanks a lot. I think that deserves a huge contributor of the week. So Ken, you are, you know, the contributor of this week. Thanks a lot for, for your contribution. So I don't see any more nominations here. So I would love to jump to the unicorn. And it seems to be that Chang bailed out this week. We're going to let you go with this one, Chang, right? But just, you know, be careful. You might not be, you know, be always able to do this. And it seems to be that Tyler has volunteered. So I'm, I'm really <laughs> Or Chang volunteered Tyler. I'm not quite sure that worked. Oh, OK. Oh, I volunteered. Um... So you may or may not know that I'm a big fan, like Ebay, of the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy. Um, so last week, my wife actually got me a scale model of the Tumblr. <laughs> so this is now um, gracing my desk. And, Can you show uh, it? I, I, I need to understand how it is, what it, how it works. And... So it, it doesn't, doesn't actually work, but it's just oh. a scale fairly detailed model. I thought you were going to say it runs <laughs> Firefox OS levitates. No, it, it doesn't open, but uh, oh. it, it doesn't have self-destruct or a bat pod feature either, unfortunately. But okay. um, but it's pretty cool still. Don't worry. It's very I was cool. expecting the mini bar, to be honest. That, that's <laughs> more yeah, amazing, I, to be honest. That is part of my whole kind of office redesign, and my office is, is in shambles right now because of that. So probably when I get back from Paris, I'll have pictures of that. Okay, but, yeah. cool. And now you cool. can say that I'm the bad man. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. So yeah, that's, that's the unicorn <laughs> for me. That's pretty cool. Huh? I, I, I think it's, it's also pretty cool to get that kind of presence. Huh? Very cool. Very, very cool. So we see Tyler had something super cool to show. So Cheng, are you there? No, Cheng's not here, right? Or are you there listening, right watching here. in the back? No, I don't know. Well, Chang's not getting out of this, right? You better find something in Paris to show uh, in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if you uh, flake on being the unicorn, there should be some sort of punishment. You know? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> how, how could you punish a unicorn? That's a very interesting question, Matt. <laughs> well, you know, What's your I, idea? I have huh? some idea. <laughs> 
like he should have to go through and uh, write 50 new articles or something like that as some sort of <laughs> punishment, right? That's not punishment. Come on. Come well, on. he has to do it in a, in, a, in a foreign language. How about translating yeah, them to a foreign like language? Yeah. In Chinese. In Chinese, yeah. So we are behind a little bit on that, so that will be actually, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we'll, we'll figure out something for you, Cheng, don't worry. Um, by the way, I wanted to say, community members, if you have something that you want to show and tell, this is not only for the people who are usually here to see, you're always welcome to join our meetings. And if you have anything you want to show us, um, even what I think it would be also great to just, you know, if you just turn your a camera and you show us, you know, where you are, because it's amazing to see the places where you all contribute from. Uh, that is also a show and tell. We might get to see a unicorn or a or a tiger or an elephant or a monkey or a parrot. Um, so anything like that, if you have that in your backyard, uh, we would love to see. We'd love to see from where you contribute. Uh, so please feel welcome to come here and show us uh, all the beauties. So I think that's it. Uh, who is going to do the? Okay, so in two weeks we have Cheng, who's not bailing out oh, again. Oh, okay. <laughs> or do you want to do? You want to go, Ibai? I can go. I have something. Yeah. Ah, okay. So Ibai is selling. Okay, Ibai. Perfect. I have so a you bunch are... of things. Okay. But I'll show you something. Unicorn next meeting. Perfect. And uh, Cheng, yeah, Cheng, you should uh, get prepared. Anyway, well, I think that's it. Uh, positions and action items we have, we're going to check the helpfulness on the KB um, to see what's going on there. Um, uh, we can also check what's going on with Twitter. Um, uh, so maybe as Kadir said, maybe there's some, some sort of technical issue that we're not aware of or some accounts have been um, blocked or anything. So if you know anything, if you've heard or if you've seen anything, anything unusual, let us know. Again, no meeting next week. Uh, we will be working um, on a lot of things, so just expect a very uh, juicy meeting the week after, um, with lots of with lots of details on uh, what we worked on. And uh, Ibai uh, has volunteered for being the unicorn, so stay tuned. What Ibai will show us for next meeting. Anyone? Any questions? Any comments? Or should we call it a day? Okay, it seems to be that everyone's ready to jump on to the next uh, great thing. Everyone, thank you a lot for coming. Uh, dear contributors, thanks a lot for another wonderful week of helping us in Suvo. If you have any questions, ideas, anything, come here, show, tell us, and please wel feel welcome to come and, and talk to us uh, on our next Sumo meeting. Have a great day, a great week, and yeah, stay tuned. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.